also two interesting articles here today. Now the first one, uh, and ironically both involve Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton. Um, but the first one is by our good old friend Paul Joseph Watson over at Infowars. Now, Watson, as I have said in the past, pretends to be a journalist because he hasn't got a single journalistic bone in his body. Uh, in fact, he wouldn't know a real journalist one came up and hit him. So, what has he written? Well, randomly, he has decided that Hillary Clinton is suffering from severe brain damage and that she is unfit, physically unfit, to govern based on nothing. Yes, Paul Joseph Watson wrote an entire article consisting of at least 1,500 words and provided absolutely no evidence to back up his claims and when called out for it, he said, um, well, I was merely quoting this person and this person is not medically qualified either to make these claims. So again, Watson is out without a doubt the worst person ever to be calling themselves a journalist and yet somehow people still think that he is some sort of saviour. Now, now we move on to Breitbart News and oh my word, today's um, hilarity is recently Donald Trump Donald Trump, Donald Trump, um, called as pretty much essentially for the assassination of Hillary Clinton by saying, hey, if I don't get elected, maybe the Second Amendment people will know what to do. Pretty much saying, yeah, if I don't get in, then the Second people who support the Second Amendment should try and take a pop at her. Remember, this, we know Trump's supporters and people at his rallies have used physical violence, so... These people are listening, and there's a chance now Hillary Clinton might have um, a target painted on her, thanks to these words. And yet, somehow, Breitbart, instead of saying what Donald Trump has said is bad, and you know we can't, con you know, endorse his actions, instead they write a piece that apparently Hillary Clinton. Um, very a very tenuous link to say that Hillary Clinton said that Barack Obama should have been assassinated back when they were both running for for president how can how can you on one hand condemn the actions of one person and then the other go oh. <laughs> for for saying at least you know the Clinton line wasn't wasn't uh, wasn't that bad but at least the Donald Trump line literally said, yes, someone should go and kill Hillary because, hey, I'll get in. Or if I lose, hey, someone could kill Hillary for me and then I'll get in. It's, you know, uh, oh, oh, and like people think that Breitbart.com is a legitimate news site. And yet there is a glaring hypocrisy. So I want to ask anyone who supports Breitbart, if you think that them writing the article about Hillary, what Hillary said about Obama is correct and accurate and true, why then have they not written an article condemning Trump for saying something exactly the same thing, and if not, ten times worse? Again, and yet people think these people who run these alternative news sites don't have an agenda and a political point to push and have all the same arguments and trappings that people complain about the mainstream media. Again, these people and the people that think and follow this way, you know, they annoy me to no end. And yet it's, it's unbelievable. It really is. It really truly is.